Hello and welcome everybody to our monthly state of the YouTube uh, vlog 28. That's what I'm going with. Welcome to vlog 28, the, in, the monthly state of the YouTube. It is December 9th, so Merry Christmas to all my subscribers out there. Uh, happy Hanukkah to the rest. Happy Kwanzaa. Uh, and for my more cultured subscribers, happy Festivus. And for the rest of you, happy holidays. I judge not. So, uh, got a special treat here for you guys today. So with my, with my state of the YouTubes, I'll talk about all my statistics. We'll look, take a deep dive back into the analytics as is usual. That's good enough. And then we'll, so we'll do something kind of special first. We'll take a look behind the curtain at some of my production. Then we'll take a look at the statistics, talk about stuff, and we'll end with me saying, good e have a good evening. So this is coming out hopefully the, tw hopefully the 9th if I'm not feeling lazy and decide to just release it. Uh, it's currently pitch black outside because uh, the Midwest, I'm blessed to experience darkness at 4. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Why are you here? It's 4 p.m. It, it, it is what it is. So I figured let's take a look here behind the scenes at what a, a finished video looks like for me. Uh, so here I am in a, so this is a Minecraft map I just finished recording a couple hours ago. And as you can see here, don't let the, it, I know it all looks kind of complex, don't let that fool you, there's not a lot of complexity happening here. So for example, where I kind of grab that early yeah, kind of funny clip of I things happening, happening. Uh, that's just me literally snipping out a little chunk here, copying and pasting, and then doing like a little fade into fade into effect that you can see there uh, other kind of cool stuff so this one was a minecraft map so I, of course i did a little rating there at the end this one uh was fortunate enough to gain a pretty high rating so you can see that coming in here uh, there we go you can see that coming in there and that of course requires a lot an individual track for each one of those pictures to do the way that I video edit it. So this video is uh, 10 tracks, 10 video tracks, and two audio tracks, which is very unusual. So a typical video for me will be one video track, one audio track. So two tracks in total, but because I had to do some different uh, video editing and voice stuff, I it kind of expanded out into tracks. Bye. Push that up here, you can kind of see a little bit better. But I will record the video, import it in here, basically slap the video in, throw my outro in, kind of scope, kind of cut through, because I know about where the where I'll my highlight when I when I record, I kind of know what's gonna end up being the highlight of the track, so I know about where to look. So I'll go comb through, uh, cut, paste that in at the beginning, do the little fade in, add the little black and white. Uh, effect here which is just a, a willow it's literally just an overlay that i throw on things to make it black and white so for example this video boom black and white not complicated at all video editing isn't like a t for doing like basic gaming like what i do video editing is not very hard if i'm doing a documentary style video like i did for manic miners eh, things get a little more complicated there if i'm doing a minecraft trailer good God, it took, the last one I did took, it only took three, it only took three tracks, which doesn't sound a lot, but because I had two tracks, I, os I was oscillating tracks to keep track of footage. So I would do the first clip in one track, second clip, and oscillate between the two. So first, second, 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 throughout the whole video. And that's kind of how I did, that's kind of how I did that. So it doesn't sound like it took a lot, but it took me, shit, 12 hours to, no. So for a four, for that four minute, for my four minute Minecraft video that I did, for my four minute Minecraft trailer, it took me,
it took me close to four hours to do the video editing, not counting the recording, which probably added on another four hours. So that thing took eight hours to make. But this is definitely one of my less complicated. This is definitely like a little bit more complicated. Um, I only have the second audio track. Normally my audio tracks are in with my YouTube, in with combined with my video, but I had to detach to do a little bit of an effect, uh, adding in an audio clip. And then of course I end with the fade out to the outro and my, I can't actually hear it, I don't have the headphones on. But uh, then my, but normally my audio tracks present like this, video and the audio down here that I can fluctuate as, as need be. So that's a little bit of a peek behind the curtain in what a YouTube video, albeit this is a little bit more of a complicated one, what a more complicated YouTube video looks like for me. Uh, it's mostly just record the raw footage. Uh, normally I don't need to cut out anything because it's usually just one continuous shot. Snip a little highlight for the beginning of it, throw on a fade, throw on a couple of fades, throw in this uh, effect, and that's pretty much a YouTube. And that's pretty much what a YouTube video is for, for me. Now, if it's one of these final ones and I'm actually giving ratings, then I usually, you know, the tracks end up uh, getting a little bit more complicated. And then, of course, post-editing me, talking back to recording me, because, well, recording me is an asshole. Lazy good for nothing. It's post-editing me that's got to do all the work. Jerk. Uh, so, I oh, know I don't need to save. So, uh, let's get into state of the channel, the good stuff, the analytics, the fun stuff. So uh, for those of you who participated in my last one or watched my last one, this shouldn't look all that shocking to you. So here I am on Social Blade, and if you want to kind of keep on the up and up of how I'm looking analytics-wise, by all means, Hold, keep me honest, keep me accountable. Um, let's see here. What are the cool stuff? So uh, we're currently sitting at 387 subscribers, which is just mind-blowing. Again, that anybody would want to hear me ramble and play video games. It's just like maddening to me. I'm still hoping to hit uh, 400 before the end of the year. I think I can do it, uh, but I will need a little help from you guys. Uh, tell your friends. I'm exciting. I'm fun. I'm some other positive adjective. Mm, you got me on that one. But uh, I think I can hit 400 by the end of the year. I would like to hit 400 by the end of the year. If not, hopefully the week after. Uh, pretty good month. Uh, we did have a little bit of a dry spell here. Before I picked up another subscriber, unfortunately, somebody dipped, but not a big deal. I picked that right up like the next day. And this is kind of where, and this is kind of, uh, we're looking good. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how this last, between months, how, how things went. Uh, estimated earnings, I don't actually make money. So this is useless. On the last 30 days, I have gotten five, over 5,000 views, so I'm up 43% over the last, I'm up 43%, so we're doing, we're doing real good. Uh, good subscriber growth, good, good view growth, all looking good. Everything's coming up Millhouse. So I'm super, super excited about how that went. Uh, let's see here, monthly subscriber gain. Yeah, you can see four. Uh, this was my September. I gained like four in September. Then I started doing regular recordings, 13, 39. We kind of had the little exponential curve going there. And I'm kind of hoping that exponential curve uh, keeps going, honestly. I, I kind of hope that we can keep riding that, uh, keep riding like a pretty good curve here. But I'm very happy with, I should reach around 338 around tomorrow. That's kind of a neat thing. Investment based on current trend. Okay, that's kind of cool. But overall, this was a great month. I'm very happy. Um, the one thing that X was the one thing that I need from you guys though is I'm kind of running out of content to record. Um, I'm trying to diversify by going into other games, but I know that majority of my audience expects Minecraft videos. So if there are any maps that you guys want to see, uh, just shoot me a comment or something. Yeah, just drop a comment in this video, for example. You know, if there's any other content non Minecraft that you want me to do. Shoot me a comment. I, I won't say no. I'll I'll look at the video. I'll look at the the map or the content. You, you know, chances are I'll give it a shot. So if there's anything you guys want to see me do, you know, drop a comment below. Is there any kind of other cool stuff in here? Oh wait, nope. We don't. I don't care about similar channels. Oh, apparently I do. Huh. Interesting. I wonder how they determine. B's versus C's and things. 
That's kind of interesting. Oh, uh, let's see here. Any other kind of cool stuff in here? Let's see what the future projections are looking like. Uh, let's see here. In two months, I should hit 435. Four months, 509. I think this is, again, kind of assuming that I get... Uh, uh, that I'm kind of continuing on the current trend of like 28 to 30 subscribers a month. Kind of hoping to shake that. Uh, maybe start getting... 50 subscribers a month, 100 subscribers a month. Uh, I currently have a couple of standing offers from some other individuals that I that I uh, socialize with for like assistance with video editing. Uh, I'd love to get into kind of like the a little bit of light document uh, documentary style stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I suck at writing. I know how to I know how to direct. I actually ran a production. I actually just ran a thing for one of my buddies. Uh, he runs a band, and I offered my assistance because they were going to do a virtual event. So I ran the OBS. Uh, he set up all the images. I ran the OBS. So I basically had I had two camera operators. I had actually I should say I had four cameras, a couple of, um, a couple of GoPros, uh, and then there was because he works for a production company, like a big production company who puts on all these local shows. He actually had proper camera operators camera operators that I was so I would I had my I had my his laptop turned uh, kind of showing the camera operators what I had on screen and then I would I put on the overview of the band tell them to uh, give me a focus on a particular member and then we'd swap over to that uh, to that view sling on it for a couple seconds before I maybe shot to like camera three that they were also operating and then maybe back to camera one and then maybe focus on the drummer so it was kind of cool to call out the different shots that these guys were going to end up using. And to me, that was really, really, that was actually pretty fun. So I understand production value and how things should look. But I can't do it myself. Uh, I also suck at writing. So I've, I've thought about like writing out some documentary style stuff. But I honestly hate research. I really don't like researching. It's either I don't like researching or I haven't found a topic that I'm passionate enough about or even knowledgeable enough about to talk for a while. It is what it is. But I do have some open offers out there for like experienced video editors to help create content for the bleaker channel. So I might take them up on it. I don't know. I just, I don't have like an idea in my head yet for something I want to do. We'll figure it out, hopefully. But that's enough of this. Let's get to the fun analytics. Let's look behind the scenes at what, uh... there we go, at what all I'm doing. So I'll kind of go here to the dashboard here. So these are the fun statistics. These are, are, in my opinion, kind of the more analytical or the the more fun uh, the more fun statistics. Actually, kind of looking back into the veil of of a small size YouTube channel. So you can see here, twenty six subscribers in the last twenty eight days, doing good. Moving my camera over slightly. Hope that would. F there we go. You're doing good. We're doing real good. Then uh, let's kind of take a look here at the content that we've released so far in the last 28 days. Go back one more. So here was vlog 27, our 500-ish video and our state of the channel for uh, November. Since then, I finished up the Beyond Below series. Had a blast with that one. That was a very fun series to, uh, to do. Then we did a uh, Parkour Helix which my first time doing a parkour map on the, uh, my second time doing the parkour, a parkour map, the first one in a very long time, I just had a blast doing parkour map, a parkour map. I didn't think I would, but it was challenging, but at the end of it, I succeeded. And that was really cool. Then I kind of introduced a new sort of concept for the channel, what I'm calling a one shot, where I just do a single episode of something to gauge interest in it. So I tried it on a raft survival and thought, eh, I kind of had fun, but of course, if you watch the video, I uh, <laughs> broke my cobble, my lava source, so I couldn't advance anymore. So, yeah, I couldn't even continue off of that save, even if I wanted to. Then I did a demo of a game called Tower uh, TD Worlds, and I guess the the developer actually saw it and thanked me for playing the uh, thanked me for playing the uh, playing the demo and recording. Uh, I actually really like TD Worlds. And I might, when it gets released into, um, it's in the demo, but when it gets a full release, I'm thinking I might actually just 
play it fully on the channel. Uh, do a, a five, ten episode stint of it and uh, kind of see where it goes. Um, of course, I uh, had to celebrate 369. Nice. Uh, I decided to make Raft, I wanted to make a Raft Survival a full series, but I didn't really feel like I was getting, I didn't really feel like it was doing all that, all that well, so I just kind of, I kind of canned the, I kind of canned the series. I might pick it back up later, but uh, as of right now, I have no plans of continuing uh, Raft Survival, much to the chagrin of a couple of my friends who say they use my videos as background noise. I don't know whether it be flattered or not, but I'm going to take it. Um, we did uh, Trials of Belderoth. I I kind of lost interest. I kind of lost interest in the map going there. Felt like a it felt like a grind. It was a cool map, but I felt like I was missing stuff in the complete the monument, and I really didn't want to go go back. Uh, and I was eh. I just felt like I wasn't making. I wasn't doing that well on the map, and I wasn't getting a. I wasn't getting a lot of joy out of the map. It is a good map. But I just couldn't get into it. It's nothing against the map or the map creator. It just I couldn't get into it. Uh, oh, I did a tint. I, a, a, I did a, a stint of fights in tight places, which is another game that I couldn't believe that one didn't. That one didn't take. Like brand new, just came out. I thought that one would. Uh, I thought that I thought that series would take off. I actually made that really cool thumbnail myself and stuff. I found some screenshots, found the logo, kind of merged everything together. Uh, customized the number some numbers i thought that that one i honestly thought that series would do better than it did but eh, win some you lose some and <laughs> then i did my my stupid meme video on uh, returning the youtube dislike button i had the idea when i was sleeping a few i like the night before i released that i had the idea like let's make fun of the youtube dislike button being gone and uh yeah that that kind of birthed that idea and i thought that was i thought that was just kind of fun uh, then a few more episodes of of uh, fights in tight spaces. Again, I can't believe that didn't take off. Uh, I just might not have a diversify. A div a, uh, I think it'd take a lot of. As of right now, with a smaller channel, I should be. I'm focusing on growth. So instead of, I need to focus on diversifying when I have a larger audience, where different content like this, like that, will appeal will appeal more to. Uh, Anyways, then I decided to do the uh, a, a puzzle map that I saw, uh, Logicless, uh, by a, a French creator, made, and I had a blast. Like that's gonna be tomorrow's video is gonna be Logicless, and uh, I think it's gonna. It was a, it was an absolute mind fuck. The whole map was a mind fuck, and I loved it. But uh, you'll see more of that uh, tomorrow. Uh, kind of got diving a little deeper into the into the analytics. Uh, let's take the last ninety days here. So you can see here when I started uploading regular content, you know we've got a new spike. There is a little bit of a downward trend here as some of my more vi as one of my series that went I'm not going to say viral, but a little more was favored by the YouTube algorithm more. The interest in that is starting to taper off a little bit, but I think we've reached a new uh, sort of lease on life for the channel because you can definitely tell here's where I started uh, posting regular content and then boom now instead of doing 60 views 80 views now I'm regularly getting 100 views a day on the channel except here 97 that one I think that one was a fluke focus back on the last 27 days oh, 49 almost 5,000 views the last 29 days is incredible lots of watch time 26 new subscribers, awesome stuff. Uh, I'm doing pretty good in click-through impressions. I'm getting a lot of external search, YouTube search, and suggested videos. So the YouTube algorithm is beginning to favor the Bleecker channel a little bit more, and that's actually kind of nice for a change. Uh, the definitely uh, support small YouTube that I put in the comments is definitely guilting people into supporting small YouTube, which is, which is awesome. Uh, Outbreak 2 definitely a shit. Outbreak 2 did incredible. I can't wait for Outbreak 3. Uh, Diamond Sword RPG is still getting a lot of love. Journey for the Enchanted Crest still getting a lot of love. Outbreak 2 is starting to get up there. Trials of Belderoth, Under Olympus. So these series are definitely 
These playlists definitely getting some hits. I'm very impressed that the Diamond Sword RPG is getting so many hits as it does. Uh, speaking of Diamond Sword, the uh, Mick 5 I've, I've been communicating back and forth with him over uh, Planet Minecraft. Uh, the update to the map, Diamond Sword RPG, the updated version of Diamond Sword RPG, well, it'll be 1.67 something. Um, it got delayed. He's having some problems with one of the boss fights not working, so... Uh, it was intended to be released around Thanksgiving. It's since been delayed, but you can be looking for that as a as the next full fledged series. Once that map gets released, that is taking priority on my that is taking priority on the channel. I am super excited for that map, and all of Mick's maps are always my heaviest traffic. Did my signature maps always his? It also helps that we kind of have a, a symbiotic relationship. I do the walkthroughs. I do the trailers. He makes the maps. Uh, I'd kind of provide all that. I do the trailers as a free service to him. In return, I get the I get the channel traffic. He gets the free trailer. It's definitely a really good give and take relationship. Uh, I love working with the guy. Quite frankly, uh, super super. He's been super awesome to work with. Super communicative. His uh, his content is very high quality. He his content is the content that I compare all of the Minecrafts to. That's how highly I think of of him and his map making. Uh, engagement average duration is down five percent is eh, happens audience though unique viewers uh, 1.9k awesome returning viewers 88 uh, since i shifted my uploads to being at 7 30 in the morning i've noticed that my metrics have also changed up so i'm actually getting even earlier channel traffic now which is kind of interesting uh 75 percent of you aren't subscribed why Still hitting that uh, 18 to 24 demographic real hard. I don't know how the YouTube kids thing works, though. Is that for people 13 to 17 or under 17? I don't make my content for children. Uh, I don't think that I am the personality for children. What it is. And outside of that, I'd say it's been another very successful month. Uh... You know, be looking for uh, the new Mick map to uh, playlist to come out. The new Mick map to come out. Uh, who knows? I may even do a. I may even do a trailer for that as as well. So once I'm done with the series post release, maybe I'll do a trailer for the updated map. I don't know yet. But uh, hey, uh, be looking forward to that content and uh, and more. Um, Going to be working out some stuff for next for next year. Uh, I've got my Christmas. I got my Christmas break off of work coming up here, so I'll have a little bit more time to work on some other content. I might reach out and call in some favors. Maybe we will do some sort of documentary style uh, content to try that. Um, I'm involved in a Halo machine mating project, and with the new release of uh, Halo Infinite, um, that's super exciting. So I'm I'm a voice actor and a machine mater for that. I'm playing just the I'm playing a bit part, but I'm hoping you know as I. I'm hoping that, you know, it's as also as a machine and playing a bit part, you know, thanks for checking, kid. Or what, what, how did I do that voice? Thanks for checking, kid. I'll be sure to tell the captain that uh, coast is clear. Something like that, where I sounded a little bit older, a little bit, a little bit more tired. Uh, how did I do that? Thanks for checking. Thanks for checking, kid. I'll tell the captain that everything's all clear. Uh... Go on ahead and put your armor back. Go on ahead and put your armor back. I think I put a little bit of a southern draw on it. It's more or less my normal speaking voice, maybe a little, maybe a little lower, uh, a little bit more of a southern draw, a little bit slower because I'm kind of tired because I got woken up in the middle of the night. Uh, I'd love to get into voice acting. I know I'm not good at it, but I'd still like to do some side projects and bit work and do my dingo star voice. <laughs> whatever all right guys so that's the end of the uh, state of the youtube hey y'all y'all stay classy be seeing you next time